Okay, so now we are showing liver analysis. Let's click on liver analysis. The prerequisite is a triphasic scan. As you can see, it's all labeled liver, tumor, PV, HV, HA, and PD or MR. So the liver just means choose a face that has the best liver parenchyma contrast. And then for the tumor face, is to see the best face that visualize the tumor, if there's any. The portal venous face to visualize the portal vein and the hepatic vein. And the arterial face to see the hepatic arteries. And lastly, a delayed face to see the gallbladder. If you if you do not wish to link any of the faces, go to the top left hand corner and unlink the face. So once you've chosen the faces, click on finalize. Once the face registration lights up, you can click on it. So you have two choices. You can register the liver, tumor, portal venous and the hepatic vein on the hepatic artery. So just make sure that the red overlay. Just make sure that the red overlay overlays with the grey as much as possible. So you're happy with the overlays click on label segmentation and check on the segmentation of the liver make changes if necessary if everything is okay you can just move on to the lesion segmentation so this is using the recess in the mm oncology So if there's no tumor, we can skip this step. And then now is the vessel segmentation. So this box to show the guide of the two vessels that need to be highlighted. So we need the hepatic vein. And the portal vein. If you're not happy with the tracing, you can just reset. So click on the edit vessels. check on the vessels so here you can add more PV or HV you can cut away vessels then you can also just show only the HV you show only PV for better visualization once you're happy with the planning you can move forward to vascular territories and this is where you label the left hepatic area, the middle hepatic area, and the right hepatic area. So this is the left. As you can see, when you hover over it, you show the color so we know that this is the left. So this is the left branch. This is the right branch. And this is the middle branch. So don't worry, you can always 
reassign the overlays. Once you're happy with the assignment of the overlays, you can ask the machine to calculate. And they give you the segmentations. And the volume of the result is in the report. So moving forward, we can now label the portal vein. So we can label the eight segment of the portal vein. So we can click on mark region. This is seven. So once you're happy with the segmentations, just have them to calculate. And you have your label segmentation based on the portal venous segments. The report will show the volume, the total liver volume, and if there's a tumor, liver volume without tumor. And based on the portal vena anatomy, the segments of the volume, and based on hepatic vein, the three main volumes. So this report can be printed as a PDF and sent So if the patient has a tumor or is in line for liver surgery, you can move forward to virtual planning whereby you can draw which lobe is needed to be resected. For example, I just draw two lines. And then click on the plane on the wedge 
and the machine will give this is how to reset and under the volume you will give the volume part one and the volume part two so the volume part two is the part to be resected and the volume part one is the one remaining so if there's a tumor you can change safety margins you can modify your planning surface. If needed, you can have up to three proposal to have the virtual planning on. So that's all for liver analysis.